Hello and welcome back to All The Gear, Some Idea. Now there's some previous videos that we've done, regards moving, removing the engine, removing the frame, uh, removing the gearbox, uh, checking that rear final drive. Um, I know some of them are quite short and there's not a lot of talking going on, but I am documenting everything that we do to this bike, the engine, everything, that's, that's how I want it to be. I want it to be a, a, quite a big series, um, or quite a, I, I want to show everything that I struggle with and everything that comes about it. So don't, you can't quite see the engine as in its hole at the moment, but it just it, every time I look at it, I just think that could quite easily go in a car. You could just on its side in a car, and it's like they've just put the air box underneath. Like I look at it as if it's a car engine, and it should be sat upwards, and it it just amazes it just it amazes me. So what I want to do today is remove the air box, airflow meter, plenum, and hopefully the throttle bodies and the fuel rail. Uh, because once that's out, I need to clean the fuel rail up. Uh, there's loads of cleaning that needs to get done, but that needs to come out. Uh, and then I can plug the holes up. Um, and that will be about it for today. But hopefully we'll get all of that off. Um, yeah. Let's, uh, let's crack on, shall we? Okay, so here she is. I'm going to leave the radiator and the cooling system in on this video, at least. Uh, we're going to remove the air box. This is, isn't going to take very long, I don't think. That was already loose. It's annoying it's not the other way around, so it would have been easy to get off. But, definitely makes it easy, the fact it wasn't tight. So then, that comes off. I've already taken one of the clips off for this. And in here, you've got a massive airflow meter. Almost reminds me of what you'd see on like a, um, a Corsa, or something along those lines. An old, an old Corsa B. Uh, I need to find someone to rest this now. So I didn't break it. There we go, that would be alright there. Let's take the air filter out. Doesn't look too bad. And then, I mean, it's obviously taken some some stuff in. <clears throat> so as you've just seen, found some stuff in the airbox, which is, is uh, off the loom actually. Um, so luckily that's what the air filter stopped from going into the engine. Let's get that removed because that needs to be cleaned out regardless. It needs to come off anyway. I need to figure out what I'm doing with the engine. The Allen key's not out of the airbox, so we can remove that. Oh, little washer. Don't need that anymore. And now what I'm going to do is turn the engine around, probably low you down, so you can see what we're going to do with the plenum. Uh, on this side, you have got a breather pipe, that that pipe feels really squishy. You've also got what looks like a fuel pressure regulator valve. It's got a little vacuum bit on the bottom of that. That goes to cylinder number four uh, throttle body. Got the throttle cable here, which I've already disconnected from that end as well. Now there's a few things I've noticed on this bike, which I'm going to go through at a different time of like how the throttle actually works. It's got like a chain inside. It's probably really common for something this age, but this to me is all like new. Right, let me turn this around and then uh, we'll come back. Right, so next, what are we going to remove next? Let's have a look. <clears throat> I think we'll remove this breather pipe here. That goes onto the plenum. We'll leave it attached to that one for the minute, I think. If it doesn't get in our way too much, we can leave that on the fuel. Uh, so how does. Okay. So I'm going to have to cut those clips off annoyingly because I, I didn't really want to cut them off. Because you've got to buy some more. <laughs> and I haven't got a tool that's normally strong enough to cut them. Let's see what we got. Let's see if I can do it the uh, way I'd normally do it. Thank you. 
Did that move? I think that moved. There we go. So all I've done is just twisted these so they've opened themselves up a little bit more. Now I will be getting new ones regardless, but just inspecting the rubbers, they don't look that bad. So I will have to take them all off when we're cleaning everything up. Uh, but you can actually see inside, you've got the trumpets inside. It's pretty cool. In fact, it's very cool. If you like me anyway. <laughs> Right, now, so I've undone one of the vacuum hoses, which is this one that goes onto there, but I don't know if you can see it from the camera angle, if I pull this one off, see how cracked that is, air leak galore, so on one, two, and three, we have them linked and then the next one goes to the fuel pressure regulator 12 mil for the rail bolts loosen that one off loosen that one off i haven't undone the wiring loom yet i'm trying to leave the wiring loom as it is so that one's out there we go that's the fuel rail off Looks really nice in there, doesn't it? Definitely need to get that sorted out. So now we've got four more boots with Jubilees on the bottom. So if we loosen those off. And she's up. There we go. So we've got a plug on the bottom here which I'm not entirely sure what it's actually for but we've had to remove it because it was stuck around the ratchet strap holding the engine in. I need to look into what this is. Oh it looks like it's some sort of pressure gauge. Like I'll look into that because that'll be very interesting to see what that is. And then it's just a case of now removing That's all the wiring off, and then pulls away. Right then, so as you'd have just seen, if you're still watching, uh, we have removed the intake system. So we've got an air box, some throttle bodies, injector plugs. The only thing I've not removed so far is the injectors. Um, that's because I want to keep them in because I'm going to clean all this stuff out of here. Um, but I believe the next video will probably be me removing the cooling system. Uh, probably taking it apart as well. I need to do some research. I need a Haynes manual of some kind or, or something just to tell me how I check this water pump down here. There's no coolant in the engine. I know that creates it to mix, but I want to eradicate any problems because I'm not planning on taking it apart again. I need to check this fan because to me it seems a little bit stiff. So it might be something we can fix or I have to look for a new one. And I also need to I also need to find a way of making a new wiring loom with new plugs and everything because they're all corroded where it's been sat outside for ages. So that will be another another video we can do at some point. Uh, yeah, I'm also going to do a video of all the little quirky things I found uh, that don't seem normal on a bike that's 40 years old. Um, that'll probably be one of the next ones we're going to do. Um, and just go through all that sort of stuff. It might be normal, some of the stuff, but to me it's different. So that's why I like it. But yeah, we're going to, next time hopefully we get rid of this uh, cooling system and check what it looks like inside the radiator. Um, do a bit of research tonight as to what's what. Uh, and yeah, so if you've enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're interested on in how is this going to go or how it's gone from an actual motorbike to now just a nearly a bare engine sat in front of me, go back and watch the other stuff. And uh, yeah, if, like I say, if there's any use or you're interested in how we're getting on, don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon to get a notification. But yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.